Hi, welcome back everyone. It's Albert LaBelle. And uh, this time around we've got another product review from uh, Lockpick Mall. That's right, lockpickmall.com. They sent in a couple more things. Uh, two of them are right here. I figured we'd do both of these together so we can try out the uh, jackknife lockpick with the padlock. Since we've already uh, kind of reviewed some of these clear padlocks when they sent in the... Uh, they sent us the uh, 25 piece uh, lockpick set and uh, came with a couple acrylic locks if you remember. It was on video number 417 if you haven't seen that, uh, check it out. So yeah, I figured we'd use this one to check out the uh, the jackknife lockpick. Uh, these are these are basic right here, these, these uh, acrylic locks. If you're just now getting into lock sport and you really don't know the mechanics of a padlock, this will really help you out obviously visually. Um, to show you, the like I said, the mechanics of the lock, how a lock works. You know, uh, the key, obviously, you put the key in the keyhole. For the lock to unlock, that core needs to rotate. We all know that, right? When you put a key in the keyhole, you rotate it, and the lock opens. Well, how does that work? Well, you put the correct key in, all the pins will line up. They will all line up making what we call a shear line. That means they're all lined up where the core now has a shear line. Like when it's locked, let me lock it back up. When it's locked, basically the only thing locking the lock, let me get a pointer, are the pins. These pins, as you can see, they fall down into the core, preventing the core from turning. So again, we put the correct key in the lock. You'll see all the pins jumping up some of them jump up and back down but they will all line up at this line right here which is the shear line then the core can turn allowing the little fingers now they 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 vary how they how they uh move the locking paws will vary from lock to lock this one here uses two pins one pin grabs this locking paw and pulls it that way the other pin grabs this locking pole and pulls it that way. See if you can watch that happen. You see that? And that allows lock to open. So that's how that works. But yeah, these are great for a visual. Like I said, if you just don't have a clue yet how lock works, and you know, if you're going to get into lock picking, if you don't know how the lock works, you're not going to have a much success picking them. So anyways, uh, that is the lock. But yeah, we're here to check out this jackknife, I think they call them, uh, H&H. So this is one of those little pocket size uh, lock pick sets of sorts. What's it say on the front here? Including the locksmith commonly used single hook with six with six drive a block. I don't know what that means. Fold lock pick tool. Yeah. Any hoodles. <laughs> let's get it out of there so yeah very basic uh it also comes with a tension tool which is right here it stores it so you just kind of pop that up pull that out and there's your tension tool kind of built in if you will and then we've got us uh, i think there's five or six picks in here let's pull them all out let's see six loosen the screw there so what we've got is uh, a couple of choices I don't know I, uh, I don't see a, a medium hook which I'd like to see we've got the uh, half diamond we've got the uh, half ball we've got the worm we got the city rake we got kind of a high hook and then we've got the uh, I don't know what that one's called forgive me uh, uh, I forget what that's called offhand but anyways you got that one too obviously uh, so yeah, uh, I would like to see a medium hook on there, uh, which I don't see, but that's okay. It's not a complete lock set. It's not meant to be. It's just a uh, just a couple to get you by, and a tension tool. So let's see. Let's give it a try. Uh, I'm just going to use, I guess, the closest thing that I see to a pick is right here. So you fold it open and tighten up the screw, I guess. Okay, it doesn't seem to uh, doesn't seem to lock very well. So if you're picking, uh, yeah, that doesn't uh, 
it doesn't lock too well as you can see so maybe you need to hang on to it oh there you go I kind of pick like that anyways but still I don't think you should have to do that yeah see so I don't know if I got a faulty one or let me see let me try to crank it down yeah that ain't happening Yeah, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see that lock a little better. But any hoodles, uh, I don't think it's supposed to be all that great, but I would like to see that lock. So let's see it work. Let's just use, uh, let me see. Let's try bottom of keyway. And let's see if we can get these pins to set with this, with this particular tool. Would help to lock it back up. There we go. All right. Let's see if I can make it happen. Binder, here we go. Right there. There's the first binder. I'm looking for the next binder, which is all the way in the back, it looks like. Because this one, I can actually see it. There it goes. Up front, first one. Right there. There we go. Just like that. So, you know, it'll work, uh, obviously, for um, very simple locks. And you do got some decent choices in there for quickies like your... Uh, let me see. The bidding on that is not not that great so let's just see for fun i'm going to try that city rake i usually have pretty good luck with when the locks have flat bidding and by flat bidding i mean a, a fairly flat key where these cuts aren't really uh, exaggerated so let's uh use that one let's see if that one locks okay that one locks better so i don't know maybe it's just this particular one let's see let's lock her back up Let's put some tension on it and see if we can't just uh, kind of rake them into place. No, that was too easy. But again, this is a very, very simple lock right here with very simple bidding. Uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit harder with a decent lock, but yeah, it's not bad. Uh, I think the tool's not bad. Like I said, I would like to see, personally, I'd like to see a medium hook on there. And I would like to know that they all lock in place better. Let me try another one to see if it locks. Maybe it's just that one. Yeah. Yeah, they don't seem to lock open all that great. I mean, you could see it's even, maybe that's where it needs to be. Yeah, I'd like to see that lock work a little bit better. So, yeah, I give it a thumbs up, but not two thumbs up, because uh, I don't like that lock. But there you are, the H&H, &H, the brand of high quality. Yeah, that's, that's questionable, because of that lock. I, I can't get over that. You really want that to stay, uh, stay in a, one position. So, there it is. Um, I do want to uh, uh, say thank you very much to uh, Lockpick Mall for sending it in. Uh, so we can check it out. I highly appreciate it. You want to see more cool stuff like this? By the way, they did send some other things. So make sure you tune in to check them out. Because uh, I think they're a little better than that. All right. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, you need to do it. Because all the cool people are doing it. All right. So be cool. Thank you. <laughs>